Hi people, this is Nani again. Um, I want to do part two tonight, like three o'clock in the morning, but tomorrow I take care of kids. So I want to finish off everything today and probably download it tomorrow. I'll download it before I go to sleep. Don't know. But um, I wanted to use, um, keep up part two of what I was calling the boomerang. The one that what you give life is what you're going to get back, you know. So, um, I was saying that, you know, during the time that I was sick, my parents, oh, my brother and my mother, you know, like I said, my dad is um, dead. He's been dead for a couple of years. But um, my mother and my brother, they were there for me, you know. And I wanted to thank them publicly because I know they see the video. They call me up and they say, oh, man, I saw you, what you were saying on this video. And we had to do about statement and stuff. And she said, man, you sound like a politician and blah, blah, blah. But she said she enjoyed it. Um, how you call it? Now I wanted to talk about my family. My kids, my daughter and my son, grown-ups already. Uh, and my husband. I met my husband. Ooh, he was 15 years old, and we were, um, we I knew him like for seven, eight years, and then we became uh, for friends. We were friends, just plain friends. After eight years around there, we fell in love, and we spent two years um, as boyfriends. Two years, one year as a boyfriend, then as a fiance, one other year as a fiance, and then we got married. That's been 26 years ago. Start um, December 26. I'll be 26 years married with him. The only reason I had that kind of success is because I always thought that, you know, the husband you gotta respect. But doesn't mean that I respect and he don't. No, 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 no. He has to respect too. You know, it's a win-win. You know, I respect you, you respect me. You know, we could have disagree, but we don't have to curse at each other. We don't have to scream at each other. We don't have to humiliate, you know, none of that stuff. And if one of us starts, the other one says, okay, it's time to walk away. You know, so we try to keep it as respectful as ba as possible. Sometimes, you know, we get a little rowdy. <laughs> you know, we raise a little bit our voice since we're alone now. <laughs> you know, we could do it, but it's very rarely because we don't ever ever go to sleep angry. You know, we like argue a little bit there. Ah, but this and that. And then sometimes I just tease him and he starts laughing and we forgot about it. You know. Or he teases me and we start laughing. We be angry like five minutes, ten minutes the most, you know. So that's not really being angry. But we get along great. And I wanted to also thank him because during my sickness, he was there for me. He was there 24-7. Uh, he took care of the house. He helped the kids with whatever they needed. Um, he was there in the hospital. You know, he was writing me back and forth because, you know, my mother only could have stood so long. She couldn't stay for the rest, you know. She has a life over there and she has some, she had to go back. And she was worried, you know. But my husband handled it pretty good. I think he did pretty good, you know. My daughter used to come, you know, since my husband was working, my daughter used to come. She would inject me, you know, because I, um, I had to use these antibiotic at home. So she used to inject my insulin because it caused me to have diabetes you know, during the time that I was sick. So she would come and inject me, put me the, how you call it, the, the water thing, you know, the antibiotics. And, you know, she would help me out. And my son also tried to keep me happy. He bought me this um, little fish. Because I was so depressed, and he took this little fish, he bought it, and he said, Mom, when you get depressed, I'm going to put it right next to there. You know, just look at the fish, talk to it, and maybe it'll help out a little bit. His wife was, oh, she was, she is a doll. 
She's my other daughter. She helped out a lot. She was the one who was combing my hair so I could go to one with the doctor. Because I couldn't even raise my hand to comb my own hair. That's how weak I was. And I just wanted to thank my cousins, my uncle, my aunts, uh, all the people that called me, emailed me, all the friends that found out about it through Facebook or through the family. I want to thank you all. You are all good. This is what a boomerang is. When you treat a person good, you know you get, you have them when you mostly need them. That's how it is. If you treat them bad, they're not going to care about anything about you. So, you know, let's try to be nice to people. It doesn't, it doesn't cost you anything. Let's try to be nice. Let's try to be respectful. And let's try to be the example to the young kids because they really need example people. People that do example things, you know, like, how to be like, thank you, excuse me. You don't hear that no hardly no more. You know, let's go back to that time. There were loving times. Well, anyway, that was my second part because I needed to finish it. So all I could say now is God bless you, take care, and until next time, bye.